Hi guys, um, I am here to announce the winner for our YouTube giveaway and just to be really, really fair, uh, what I did is I went through 446 comments, but I, the reason it's 446 is because I actually went back and replied to all of uh, to all of you guys, okay? So which means it's only 446, 446, and I'm gonna divide it by half because half of it is my comment because me replying back to you guys. So the actually the real number is 223, right? So I have look what I got on here is I enter 223. See, 223 numbers, right? So one to 123, and I'm gonna press the wheel right here, and it's gonna spin, and it's whatever number it lands on, that's the window, okay? So I'm gonna press it right now. Good luck, guys. Uh, okay, I'm so nervous. Uh, so I'm gonna press it for to, it to stop. Oh, oh, okay, we have a winner, number 13. <laughs> Congratulations to our lucky winner. What was the number? Uh, yeah. Number 13. So now I'm going to go back to my YouTube and I'm going to count from 1 to 13 and I'm going to hit you up on Instagram, okay? Why don't you do it right now? Oh, okay. So. You, use, yeah, use your, your phone. Uh, okay. Ooh, I exited out. No, it's, it's fine. Use your phone, baby. Okay. So number 13 is the winner. All right. Okay. I'm so nervous. I'm getting more nervous than um, the winner. Okay. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen is Josie. Josie, I don't know how to pronounce your last name. Forgive me, can, but um. Can you show the screen? This is who won. Josie. Barely, but. But do you get the idea? Don't worry if you didn't win. I have I'm having another giveaway right after this one. All right. I'll see you guys later. Hi guys. Welcome back to our Not Polished channel. And today I will be doing a feather design with some neon colors. Um, this is inspired by one of our great friends. His name is Vin Chan. He's on Instagram and amazing artist. Such. A great artist that uh, I love all his work so but I saw this and I had to recreate it so here you go I hope you guys enjoy it okay we're gonna start out by gluing this tip on this is not polished straight tips is made for easy almond easy stiletto coffin or taper square okay and then after you glue it on you just kind of blend everything together and then i'm applying a thin layer of clear base okay the reason why i'm doing this is because i'll be using a black powder today anytime you use a very pigmented color you want to use a clear base on the bottom of the nail first because this will help the powder stick better and will be easier when your client come back for a refill for you to file it off okay and just kind of apply the, apply the black powder on and just kind of work it into the cuticles there you go kind of press and pull it all the way down to the end of the nail okay just kind of press and pull it all the way to the end of the tip Okay, now this is dry. I'm gonna use my hand file and just kind of shape everything together. And then when that's done, we're gonna use our bits and just go in and just move everything out. Just kind of smooth it out. Okay, now we're gonna go in and buff it out. So after everything's done, just kind of finish it by buffering it. And then I'm going to use a blossom gel on the nail. And before I cure the blossom gel, I'm going to go in and paint the feather in just a white gel, okay? This is before curing, okay? You do not want to cure before you paint. So just kind of paint everything on. Just 
or feather whatever you want flowers anything you want can be done with this design okay you can paint anything you want doesn't necessarily have to be a feather because this was just inspired by one of our friend his name is Vin Chan on Instagram if you're not following him right now you should he does a lot of great nail art and I'm just gonna just paint it on there it doesn't have to be perfect okay you just kind of have to have a little bit of the pattern and then after you cure it I will cure for like 15 seconds use your most pigmented color I'm using the not polished summer collection color it's very highly pigmented and just kind of use a sponge and just dip it in your powder and then just kind of pat it on to the white okay and remember I did not cure this for a very long time because I want it to be tacky when I applied this powder on so it will stick better you see that just kind of pat it on any color you want, any color that you have that's very pigmented, then it will stick. You don't want to use light color because it might not show up, okay? And just, you know, kind of press it into the white part of the feather. Okay, you just kind of press the powder in. Any of your bright colors can this can be done too. Okay, any bright colors. And then I'm gonna use a top coat, a gel top coat. I'm gonna put it on the whole nail, and then we're gonna cure it. And after it's done curing, I'm gonna use my white again and goes in to enhance all the little details in the feather okay you see that just kind of go in with your white again and just kind of brush that on Okay, you want the line to your feather to be fine and you know just very thin okay thin lines there you go and then you just kind of add in the all those little details as much as you want All right, and when that's done, just cure it and put on a top coat. And here you goes. This is the finished product. Alright guys, what do you guys think about that video? And again, if you like it, make sure you leave us a comment down below. And if you love it, smash that like and subscribe button for us. And I'll see you guys next time.